1971 at Land Rover Series 3. Two and a quarter petrol here. It does say for some reason on the like, sort of red checks after that that comes back as a diesel. But it's definitely petrol this one. Bit of a uh, patina look going on, which we quite like, actually, in all fairness. But body weight wise, we're going to start off the bonnet, round onto the interior, and then we'll fire it up into life. You'll see the bonnet's got some fade across the alley there. Looks good though. Across that front, scut again. Some, but we're going to go with patina across the whole of it. Nice and straight though on the wings, but there is some paint flakes, some chips, some dings, some dents. Across there, the bumper's been painted black. As you come round on the right hand side, on the all important areas on the wing tops there, all nice and straight and tidy. Got some scratch again, some dings, some dents around there, some corrosion. Just starting there on the, uh, the door hinge there. It's had a, it's had a plate in a trunk, but which you would expect. We've got the painted steels with the trunk tyres all the way around. As you come down the driver's door, you can see plenty of marks here and there. The roof's got some fade, but again, it's all straight in the right places. I will stick the camera underneath so you can have a look. See the outriggers there and the chassis and stuff. So obviously had some welding at some point. Again, you expect this on a 70 series Land Rover. As we come down the rear, you'll see it's got a little bit of a lean on it. If we come to the back there, you can see it sort of leans over a little bit like that. So I don't know if there's something going on with the leaf spring. That rear yeah, chassis cross member looks good. Again, we'll stick the camera underneath so you can have a good look. As much as I can see, you can see. Come to the left hand side, so you can have a look at there. Chassis, I don't know what's going on with the, the leaf, but it seems to be over and a bit of a conk. Again, there's some scratches, dings and dents here across the back. It's fairly straight though, a bit of alley rash on the bottom of the door, but not bad. A little bit by the hinges. So come round and down the left hand side. Again, it's presentable, it's sort of got a certain charm to it. A little bit of a hole there on that rear quarter. Do the chassis again so you can have a look at that. See the tub, it's had an outrigger there, you can still see the brick parked sticker on there. See the chassis there as well. Across the passenger door. Do close, I just need a little bit of a hand there. And onto the front wing, that's obviously been renewed at some point as well. On the door pillar. Onto the interior. Again. Bit of wear in there, sort of matches the outside. Been used quite well. This one, it's got a certain charm to it, like this. On to the spare wheels there. Want some check straps all the way around on the doors. Jump down seats in the middle. Again, plenty of wear in there, but it's all nice and dry, straight, and all the fairness to it. And then onto that left hand side door. It's a bit of repair down the corner. Seats again, want to retrim if that's what you want to do with it. Then into the engine, we'd actually say it's definitely a two and a quarter petrol, so I don't know why it comes back as a diesel. James is going to fire it up for us. Bit of choke, the front cold start. It's taking too much choke off there. There we go. Cold start up there, so she likes a bit of full choke that one. There you have it, the 71 Series 3 Land Rover, two and a quarter petrol. Uh, bit, of a, bit of a tea cut on the weekend to sort that one out.